Hello, my name is Carmela Velasquez and I'm the Program Director for Family Supportive Housing. Our San Jose Family Shelter is the only shelter in Santa Clara County that is able to keep the families together. We are able to house up to 35 families for three months. Our services assess the needs of the entire family as a whole. We provide employment services, housing search assistance, life skills workshop, educational training, daycare, and also school-age kids are able to attend programs at after-school times. Because of Intero, we are able to provide daycare to our families. Voyager is our state licensed daycare facility where we are able to care for up to four kids in our infant section and up to 12 kids in our preschool section. Kids learn to develop social skills and every week there's a curriculum who's been implemented and kids increase their cognitive skills. Because of Intero, parents are able to job search, house search, during their program participation. If it wasn't for Ontario, parents will not be where they are at right now, reaching self-sufficiency. We would like to thank Ontario from the bottom of our heart for all their support throughout the years. Thank you. Hi, my name is Steve Becerra. I'm a realtor here with Ontario in Saratoga. I've also been a board member at Family Support of Housing since 06. Um, I'm here to talk to you a little bit about the Voyager Daycare Center at uh, Family Support of Housing. Uh, we've been lucky enough to be a recipient from the Ontario Foundation and our Voyager Daycare. And I think it's important that, you know, everyone out there puts kind of a face on where our dollars go. And I want to share a story about two young twin girls, three-year-olds, that were in our Voyager Daycare Center. And the first day that they were there, they were lacking in development skills and socialization skills and so much so that during the nap time all they did was cry for the whole two hours. Very difficult for them to feel comfortable and relaxed and they only communicated to each other which we called through babble which we called the twin language um, and eventually with the help of our staff and, and they eventually got them to relax and feel comfortable and they worked with them on their socialization to the got to the point they started to sleep through nap time and it gave their bodies their little bodies and minds much needed rest and from there evolved to when one of the little girls eventually sat in on the circle time and started singing that eventually rubbed off on her little sister and they were both in a very short time socializing with the other children and the staff and it got to the point that we saw progress happen week after week with them and you know that they went from their clenched little fist and not communicating to by the time within a few months they were hugging and dolling out hugs to all the other children in there and they were talking back and forth and communicating and it just warmed everyone's heart and it reminds me of the story of, of one of the fathers that had told me that you know as long as he knows his children are safe and taken care of, he can overcome any obstacle. And that's really what the Voyager Day Care Center does. It gives the freedom for the parents to go out in the world to do what they have to do to take care of their family and also work with the children that are lacking in skills and, and help them, bring them back up to speed with the rest of kids their age. And because of you and the Ontario Foundation, and the support, we want to thank you uh, from the bottom of our hearts on behalf of the staff, the residents, and the board directors. Thank you for what you do.